everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you all how i make this delicious chickpeas recipe if you've not had chickpeas before this recipe is a recipe you need to try out trust me it's full of flavor it's delicious it has all those good stuff okay so don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already do that and give this video a thumbs up and also follow me on instagram at rolinda TV and I'll see you all in my next video. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to boil my chickpeas for about two minutes in order for me to take the skin off. So um, I'm going to add some water and boil it for two minutes. Then after two minutes, I'm going to take out the um, water out and rinse it and start peeling the skin off. I made a video on how I peel the skin off, but for some reason I couldn't find it. So, but just boil it for two minutes and you take, um, start peeling the skin off. Then um, when you're done peeling the skin off, we're going to it's going to look like this. So I've already boiled this. So like I said, I don't know how I misplaced um, the clip of when I was peeling and boiling it. So when you boil it, it's going to look like this. Make sure you boil it until it's very um, soft, until it's cooked properly. So when it's done, then you're going to add in your grand turkey. I'm going to cook this with some seasoning you cook it until um, it's no longer pink you cook it till it's very um it's brown so that's when you know it's cooked so i'm going to be adding some seasoning like the garlic my ginger then um, some seasoning cube um so that's what i'm going to be adding for this in order to because you say those things then shut me up you have found I'm a rose in arms but you cut me so I'm going to be adding in the all purpose seasoning that I got from the store so uh, I'll be adding this to it I'm going to continue cooking this until it's brown so I have in some more all purpose seasoning I got different flavor from the store so you can add any um, all purpose seasoning of your choice or any seasoning of your choice so I got different flavors so I might as well use them because it tastes um, so good and the flavors there they are very very good so afterwards um, when the turkey is completely cooked I'm going to add in my oil so I'm using just a little bit of oil so you don't need too much then I'll be adding my pepper mix in the pepper mix I have some more garlic ginger onion and some habanero peppers so those are what i blended then i added it to it so i'm going to cover this and I allow it to steam up for about two to three minutes you know just to cook that down then after three minutes then i went ahead and add some tomato sauce so the tomato sauce that i usually use is the prego or ragu sauce so those are the one that i use so i added in the tomato sauce that i'm going to add in the, a little bit of seasoning cube that i used before just a little bit from the one that i used before so i'm going to add in some curry powder then i'm going to cover this and cook it for about five minutes on a low heat i usually say on a it's wrong i can't be right After five minutes of cooking this is what you're gonna get make sure you put your stove on a low heat so your food will start burning so I'm going to add in my already cooked chickpeas make sure the chickpeas is already cooked then I'm going to combine it to the sauce so it will you know enter inside very well <laughs> so I need to marinate with the sauce I'm going to cook this for another three to five minutes on a low heat 
so then afterwards it's already cooked guys you can go ahead and enjoy this the way it is but i would like to take mine to another level i'm going to add in some more vegetables you know to give it more aroma to give it more flavor and stuff like that you know what i mean so i'm going to go ahead and add in some bell pepper i'll be adding some yellow bell pepper green and uh, red bell peppers then i'll also add in my chopped onion you can skip this if you choose to but you don't want to do that make sure you prepare it just the way it is look at it it's very colorful you know and very flavorful it's so good if you've not tried chickpeas before you should try this recipe it's so delicious that's look at that so when you're done adding in all of your vegetables you can cook it for another one minute i still like my vegetable to be crunchy so i don't like cooking it so much so that's what you get thank you so much make sure you thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye